promised, we are back with the one and only Joy Behar, co-host of The View, a longtime friend of mine, if I yes. may say. You came to my birthday show at The View. That was so sweet of But you. your first time on the beat, thank you for coming in. You're quite welcome. I want to start by looking at all of the fun and action, political action, you've had uh, in some of your time on The View. Let's take oh, a look. Okay. Wait, awesome. We are back with Senator John McCain. You stood up to that. To that. Uh, why are you so different from everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot about politics. You know about the law. But do you know about pop culture? I don't know. That's We're going to find out. We need you to stay engaged. Well, you know, I think we and, and we need you guys to keep it going. I don't know where that is today in the Republican Party, and so I'm just not comfortable being part of it. Which part bothers you, though? I think it's it, a give and take, not just from the administration, but also from the news media. I is think the media supposed to not report on the fact that 95% of what he says is a lie? You say in the book that you wanted to, you should have said this or you should yeah. have done that. What, say it now. Okay, so say it. We got you something. You can just wear this from now on. <laughs> Back up. Back up. You get to see a lot more of these people up close than most Americans. Yes. What have you learned seeing uh, our politics up close in this country? Well, everybody's, you know, in the best behavior at The View, and they're scared of us, too. They're a little scared of you us. You don't seem that scary. They're, I'm not scared. They, you mean scary? You're not scary, yeah. No, but they don't know what's going to, you know, happen, what we're going to say. I mean, even Joe Biden years and years ago told me he's, he'd much rather go and meet the press than, than The View. Because the meet the press is very yeah, blah, 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 blah. Well, the view is yeah. <laughs> it's blah, blah, blah versus yeah. what's the second one? <laughs> <laughs> By well, the way, can we give a shout out to that woman who told the FBI or told whoever Jennifer Tobb? Yeah, yeah. About that they were telling her to to say that Mueller sexually harassed her. I mean, he is. Can now, you believe that? Well, he is now inoculated. It's interesting against mm. a sexual harassment claim because no one's going to believe it now. Isn't that is that not the most wild story? Wow. I mean, we we had the headline up here and it says a plot to frame Mueller. I yeah, mean, that's yeah. where we are. I mean, I like to say salute that that lady. Yeah, because she knew what to do, and she reported it in, and now it's, as you say, inoculated. Mm -hmm. um, I want to show some of your uh, your times with Donald Trump on The View over Oh, yeah, years. I know him. I went to his first wedding, his second wedding to Marla, you know. They say the second wedding's the there best wedding. There wasn't one. a wet eye in the room, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, th but you've also at times gotten along with him, as, as, as yeah, you've known. Who and then, knew? Who who knew? He was such a psycho. I, I, I liked the guy in a way. It was like, oh, he's a New York character. And now, you know. Character, yeah. And I think that the funny thing about being here, I, mean, I, I grew up on the West Coast, but you spend time in New York and you see some of these people up close, and it's different than the way the rest of the country might see them at a distance. Well, so perfectly, perfectly co coiffed and well presented on a reality show. Well, New York, did, as you know, probably did not vote for him. I heard that. Yeah, because we knew that we know. I didn't know you were bringing news updates tonight. Well, I, I, sometimes <laughs> I, I have to do that. But, uh, you know, we know the beast. We knew him. We get it. Yeah. Just like, you know, Mike, Michael Bloomberg said, I know a con man when I see one. And he's a con man. Mm -hmm. So the New Yorkers are hip to it. I mean, in the rest of the country, they really didn't know him the way we do. Well, here, let's look at you and him over the years. All right. He says that it's his own hair. So I believe him because I believe Donald. He's an upstanding American. Yeah. But America doesn't believe him. <laughs> okay, you ready? Come on. Just check it out. No, it's true. It's, it's, it's real. It's not very pretty, but it's, it's real. real. If you're known as a patsy, if you're known as somebody that takes it, I think it's terrible. Well, but the ad hominem attacks, those really are not effective. As, do you think he knew what ad hominem meant? No, I don't think he knew. But he, <laughs> but he'll 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 pick up one of the things because he is uh, a real creative con type of salesman. Yeah, yeah. He'll pick up anything you say. You say right. ad hominem, he'll say it back to you. You know, fake news was a term that was used to describe the right wing articles that spread on Facebook in October that helped him. Uh -huh. And after he heard the criticism, he grabbed it. Now everyone thinks it's his term, and he goes, well, I guess I won. Well, also, lock, them, lock her up and build the wall. I think somebody mentioned it to him at one, the beginning of his, one of his rallies, mm -hmm. and he said, hey, that's pretty good because they all responded to it. He doesn't, he's not, he doesn't have his own mind. He, he picks up, as you say. But did he change? From those, what we just saw. When well, you obviously, you know, he, I never thought that he would be this bad. Never. Because even before he, he won, I said, well, if he wins, God forbid, um, he, he can't be really such a maniac. He's much you worse. You thought he would, a lot of people said, well, if he wins, he would get a little better, more responsible. And you yeah. think he's worse. 
I think he's worse. Yeah. I thought he was also a secret Democrat, which he shows us he's not. He's not a Republican or a Democrat. He's just an anarchist, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. And I don't mean that in an ad hominem sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I also want to talk to you about the Democrats. You oh, know, yeah. people love you. People really love you. Not everybody, but a lot of people love right you. The right wing hates my guts. Come on, tell it. Well, here's where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> um, as we say in the business, run and tell that. I'm going to run and tell you that a lot of Democrats love you. A lot of uh, your viewers love you. Yeah. Uh, and yet, can you always give the love back when you see that there are mistakes that the Democratic Party does seem to make? I want to play for you. We put this together. Just some of the, the questionable calls over the course of just the Trump era and the question being, for your consideration, mm -hmm. do you really think the same people should be back in charge after the, the elections, especially if they take back the House? Take a, take a look. All right, Ari. The government this morning is back at work, and boy, is there a lot to do. Democrats are divided, with some upset. Chuck Schumer didn't fight longer to protect dreamers. Democrats raised the prospect, raised hopes that by sticking together through the shutdown and sticking to their principles, they could somehow get protection for the dreamers uh, passed into law. That obviously uh, didn't happen. Well, look, we've advanced the cause. Joe Manchin but, is speaking. Yeah. He just announced his support yes, for Brett Kavanaugh. I made my decision, and I gave my reasons for my decision, but I had to deal with the facts I had in front of me. Last night, top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer uh, somewhat inexplicably cut a huge deal. The Democrats agreed to essentially wave through 15 Trump judicial nominees. What grade do you give Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi? Well, Nancy's been very effective in her job over the years. I understand. I mean, I'm not in the nitty gritty of the of what goes on there, but she's been very good, and I, I like Nancy. I think that you know it's time probably to move on a little bit. You know, people do get older. Who would you get rid of first, Chuck or Nancy? Well, Chuck. You know, last time he was on the View, he came alive. It was like wow. Uh, you know, he was like actually animated and mm -hmm. everything. I don't even think he was doing this bit, which it's like, hello, Chuck. If you're <laughs> reading, yes, but when you're reading a prompter, you obviously don't need them. Take them off. <laughs> But I mean, when you see <laughs> them get outworked, and then yeah. he says, oh, I made a, a deal with Mitch McConnell on these judges. Yeah, yeah. And then they get worked over, and then he says, oh, they're not being fair. It's well, because like they, don't, they don't play with the same, uh, the same models. The, the Republicans are vicious. Mitch McConnell, I don't even want to talk about him. I think you have him on the, um, I, I chose him for your throwback person. Fallback. Fallback person, that's it. I, I chose him because I, to me he's like an improv comic. He makes it up as he goes along, right. you know. Oh, today I think I'll change this rule and I think I'll change that law. And everybody says okay. He does, and he just gets away with it. And he though. gets away with it. Does he get away with it because the Democrats don't fight hard? Well, they don't have any power. We, we now we know that they have no power right now. The, hopefully, I'm making a novena I, that next Tuesday they'll get some power back so we can do something, turn the lights on with some power, you know. Yeah. And um, but he he's he's feckless. Can I show you ways. also, before we go, yeah. can I show you Fred Armisen doing you on SNL? Would you be okay with that? Uh, sure. You know, someday, Ari, I pray that a woman will be imitating me, but as long as... Hey, fair. <laughs> I'm dapping you. Go That's ahead. fair. Sure. So, go Let's ahead. Let's take a look. As if we have never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what I always say? You know what I say? Who cares? <laughs> Just go home and have a glass of Pinot Grigio. Go to bed. So what? He has captured my philosophy. So what? Who cares? So what? Who cares? Don't, don't sweat the small stuff. But isn't that your essence? That you, and that you can banter with so many different people across politics and culture. Yeah. And not care. No, I care a lot. I care a lot. You care a lot, I'm but you're also nights you now. care, but you care in a nice, authentic way. You don't demean. Other people? I, don't I try think. not to. You try not to. Well, you know, it's hard not to with the <laughs> President Pinocchio in the White House. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you know what you're being right now. What? Ad hominem. I'm being ad hominem. I am. You're right. Um, Joy. Are we done? I think so. they're telling me we're out of time. Do you okay. know how it works? You know how it works yeah, around no, here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're Why? Done. Do you have something else? No, no. I'm done. I'm done. Are we done? I'm done. Can you I know have what? This? I'll take you this. know what? What? Who cares? So what? We're done. Yeah, so we're what? Done. We're done. Uh, Joy Behar, <laughs> thank you for coming by. You've been begging me to come on. Was this? Was it good for you? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me, was this segment good for me? Yeah. I think it was great. All right. Well, that's all that counts. Uh, I have been begging you. You're letting yeah. the audience in because we've known each other a long time. Yes. And I said, come on the show. And then a year in, you hadn't come on the show. Then they call me up. They say, come wish Joy a happy birthday. I said, I'd love to. All right. I'd also love it to be mutual. Yes. Uh, when, when's your birthday? March. I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.